As we prepare for the 71st Pebble Beach Concord d'Elegance, we thought it'd be prudent to show some images of the restoration work that went into Porsche 550 Spider Chassis 73. It's hard to verbalize and truly explain what a 5,000 hour feels like when you do it the proper way. It's a mind-bending experience. Every project takes a bit of your life with it down the road upon completion, and it's far easier to over-restore and make it perfect rather than doing the proper research and exercise restraint. Restoration work is a lifestyle, and it's our responsibility as restorers to re-present the automobile in form and function as it existed in the past. From a philosophical point of view, authentic restoration work is a science of forensic science or work. It's our job to do the forensic research to ensure that we have not used the wrong parts, wrong finishes, wrong materials, and wrong build techniques from the period. Our team takes extreme pride in not over-restoring these pieces of Porsche history and doing the original craftspeople that worked at Porsche justice. In a way, we're practicing the idiosyncratic art of making things as they were done at the Porsche factory in period. The late Dr. Fred Simeon talked about these restoration tenants and Miles Collier in his wonderful book, The Archaeological Automobile, really presents all these themes and philosophies about proper restoration work in a wonderful way. I implore anyone to buy his new book, it's wonderful. The 550 Spider model is perhaps one of the most iconic designs, not just for Porsche, but perhaps a contender for top 10 in automobile history. Everyone knows the James Dean story, and of course people know that the 550 Spider is Porsche's very first production purpose-built motorsports car. As such, most 550 restorations have been over-restored over the years, and history has been lost. We've restored chassis 550-73 to a point in time when Paul Sagan, a Porsche VW dealer in upstate New York, was racing it and finished second in the SCCA championship in 1956. We had the pleasure of using 550 chassis 90, the very last 550, as the reference point for this restoration. We did a mechanical preservation job on chassis 90, and so we spent a lot of time over a year observing, recording, and really understanding context-wise how Porsche and the coach builder Wendler built these cars. We've used all the reference points from chassis 90 of how the coach builder Windler and Porsche constructed these cars, the look, the feel, the parts, the finishes, and in some ways, how crude they were. And I, it's my sincere hope that when we present it on the lawn, everyone will step back and take a look and admire that we've created something that feels organic and real, and that we've done those craft people artisans at Porsche in the past.